The network device can be managed by a console port, but the console port is a locally connected port. That means when you want to manage a network device by the console port, you must go near the network device. But when the network is already, the device is already installed, then maybe the device is far away from your office. So if you want to manage it through the console port, you must go far away to manage it. I think this is a god this is not a good way to manage the network. So how can we solve this problem? Okay, the telnet provider solution. You can using telnet to manage a device far away, just like you connect it through the console port. Okay. And in this chapter, we will discuss how the telnet is worked and then how to configure a telnet service on the Huawei's network device. Okay. First, we can see the scenario. This is a network device, okay? And uh, maybe this network device is connected through the local network or far away, okay? But that's not the matter. When the telnet client and the server can ping each other, then you can use your telnet to log into the device, log into the network device, and then manage it, just like you are connected to the network device through the console port. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, models, logical models. And the telnet is a client server model. That means this is two parts. This is the server part, and this is the client part. Okay, this is the server. This is a client. And the client just appear on your on your PC, okay? And uh, you can type in the command. And then the software, the terminal driver, will turn this, your key strike, into an IP packet and then send it to the server. The server will interpret your command and then sending the response back to you, okay? And uh, the T telnet is based on the TCP connection. The port number is 21, okay? It's 21. So when the IP is reachable from the, between the server and the client, you can use the telnet to log in, okay? And uh, for you to log in, the telnet provides an authentication mechanism. And uh, for the telnet, there are three types on Huawei's network device. First is the NON. The NON means there is no authentication, no password is needed. Anyone can log in without password, okay? And then there is another method we call AAA, triple A. The triple A means you must log in using the username and the password, okay? and the username and the password must be created on the network device or through radios and other protocols, okay? This is a 3A. And then the password. The password is the method. That means when you're logged in, you need to type in the password. Okay, the difference between three, triple A and the password, that means the triple A must type in the username and the password pair. And in the password mode, only type in, need to type in the password, okay? And then, this is an example of the telnet configuration of the Huawei's network device. And this configuration is the password mode, okay? So, first, these two devices, client and the server, must be reachable. Okay, so need to configure IP address because it's locally, so they can ping each other directly, okay? Just to configure an IP address on the, on the telnet server, on the network device. And then, this is the configuration of the telnet. User, inter user interface, then VTY, zero to four. Okay, that means, VTY means 
the user interface user for telenet for ssh and and so on okay and uh, there's another type of user interface is the console port okay of course the console port only one interface but the vty you configure the five interface okay and uh, this interface number is assigned randomly okay uh, of course in huawei's device is assigned uh, sequentially okay sequentially that's the first the zero then one then two then three then four okay and then you configure the authentication mode is a password okay then configure that password for this login okay for this login and then the password is huawei12 okay okay then after this configuration you can turn it from the client to the server okay and uh, the other one thing need to point out that the user the in user interface have the privilege level okay the privilege level if you not configure it the privilege level is zero okay privilege zero means the visit mood okay visit visit level you can only type in little command okay if you want to configure you must increase the privilege level if above two okay above two privilege level two or three or more than three okay of course the whole privilege level is from zero to 15 okay and then after this configuration you can telenet from the client okay on the client you type in telenet and then the destination IP address then they will communicate of course telenet using tcp 23 port and then they are responding and uh, a password request is proper to you and then you type the password huawei12 okay you have ever configured on the telenet server and then the prompt is appear on your terminal. Okay, this is all the con telnet configuration. Okay, and uh, the other questions. If the telnet service have been enabled, but the user is unable to establish a telnet connection, what is the possible reasons for this? Okay, what is the possible reasons? I think there are many reasons, okay. For example, uh, the telnet service enabled, unable to establish a telnet connection. First, if you can ping each other, okay, the client and the server can ping each other. The network must be reachable, then they can telnet. And the second, if the password is correct or not. If the password is not correct, you cannot telnet telnet in okay and uh, maybe you need to confirm if the password have already been configured on the server side if no password is configured but the mood is using password then you cannot con connect in okay you cannot log in and uh, others we can see the user interface user interface vty the range is zero to four okay if zero to four that means only five users can log in at the same time if there's more than five users then cannot log in okay and uh, maybe there's more reasons uh, we can find uh, these reasons 